So when the question comes, how much you can customize your phone? The answer to this question is simply this. So by now it is Lineage OS, but formerly known as Cyanogen Mod. So let's begin. So Cyanogen Mod has changed its name to Lineage OS, and it's the Lyco La 2 phone. So in this video, I am going to show you how it performs on the Lyco La 2. So first of all, the fingerprint sensor is pretty much working. So what about the how? What is special about this room? I am going to tell you in just a bit. So the first of all, you are seeing that I am using a launcher which is called as Pixel Launcher. So by default, it's not the case. You are getting the default Cyanogen launcher, but it's okay. So let's jump back to the settings and one by one i will show you all the options you are getting in the settings menu so first of all you have the standard option like wi-fi bluetooth sim cards and data use and modes so here comes the sound so you can customize your sound experience in lot of ways as you can do on the other phones so there is nothing special so let's back and then comes the display and lights so as you can see there are some options brightness level adaptive brightness live display you can pretty much check your rotation in every direction so also including 360 degree so that's pretty good to have and next of all you have got the ambient display so if you get any kind of notification it will show and pop up you on the lock screen so that's pretty neat thing to have and it's pretty it's pretty good and wake on plug mean you simply discharge or unplug your phone it will wake up so you can have custom dpi settings so by default it was 480 dpi but i manually prefer 440 dpi so i chose that so it's pretty good and you have the other little option like battery in light notification light and that's all so coming back to the main attraction of this phone is themes so from this option you can pretty much customize your phone as you want i am i have you i am not using the stock one stock theme i am using a mingle of some android n theme as well as blitzer uh, theme and the hydrolex libre so basically what it means that i am using pretty much a uh, little bit of everything in this phone so somehow guess that i am using boot animation from this um, this knock to notification toggle from this ringtone from this and anything else from this so that's pretty much the thing with the um, cm30 you can use the theme by uh, downloading from them from play store and, uh, and just get on this phone get on that phone and use it as you would like to customize your phone you have the full option for that and also another option is the app themer so if you tap on that it will go back to the settings and if you go to, you can see this little pop-up thing over here so what is the advantage of that if you go to the any other options so basically i am here so you can i can basically tap on this icon and change the entire uh, theme of this mm, change the entire theme so if i change to the blitzer so your theme is being applied and it will change the whole area by what i am using so that's pretty neat thing to have so here is the main attraction of this cm rom is the built-in theme manager and rather than that it will also come many other options so let's get back to the them so next up all the notification option let's see how it have so it's pretty basic thing app notifications and other things to control nothing special next of the lock screen so you have a nifty of option using including fingerprint so you don't have the uh, what i say app lock built in from this but you can easily get that from any other third party application which supports fingerprint api so that's cool and let's start to the button so i can here see the uh, direct option to enable software button however you can do that with root permission that you are that is built into this rom so that's pretty cool and you have other nifty features like what you will, your three capacity buttons will do you can pretty much customize everything about them turn it back turn it on and not anything else so next of all the battery option so it will uh, increase the battery mode by having three power modes like uh, performance balanced and power so balance is pretty much what i use every time and power performance is very often i use but it's good to have and battery saving mode is also great so next up is security you have the all the essential security options so nothing special so let's get back to that 
so next of all you have have the memory option so it will show you how much ram you get so within 3 gb i have 2.1 gb of usable memory so it's pretty nifty i would say to have a rom this kind of ram efficient you can run pretty much other stuffs on this pretty easily so you have user access so you can pretty much set your owner and guest account by from here so that's pretty nifty feature and there is system profile status bar settings so you can pretty much control many things from this status bar settings so let's get to the status bar settings again i think it has crashed once so no 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 so there is a search bar i am <laughs> unable to find so sts status bar okay so here comes the status bar settings so as you can see i can control everything like uh, what are you are seeing that on the status bar i have set the clock to be at middle and do not show the am pm status i can also change the battery indicator style and uh, lots of thing brightness control and quick pull down menu and other things so that's pretty good thing to have so this is pretty much very customizable rom what i said you earlier so that's pretty much the uh, settings overall what what i have and another main thing is this developer option if you aren't uh, on this thing you have to just press the build number um, seven times and it will um, get you to the uh, developer option so what i have what is special about the developer option so there here is the many new option which you can't find on your normal device so here is the top of the um, bottom you got tick the advanced reboot option which is pretty useful to me it basically what did when i tap reboot it will give me options to go directly to the soft reboot recovery or bootloader mode so it's pretty nifty for me and pretty useful so other option like stay awake and oem unlocking and the main access to the root access from here is also available it is the one of the main feature to enabling uh, the enabling what i already told you developer options so that's pretty nifty and also get other options of what you can find on other phones as well so this is pretty much the settings about things so here it wraps the all the things about uh, pretty much all the things about sergeant mod because there is no ending of this rom because how you can get full customization of customizability of this phone so how i customize this phone will uh, refer this if but if i go any further deep so that will be my own person personalizability so if you want to get your full hands on on this rom you can simply download from the link in description and manually flash yourself there are full instruction how to do that but if you want me to make a instruction on that let me know and also cm 14.1 review is coming to this is cm 13 but nokat is still around the corner so thumbs up for that and um, thank you for watching guys see you on the next